Oprah Winfrey is at it again. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Oprah Winfrey has became nothing but a Hollywood plantation mammy. I got to call it what it is. First, she was trying to mess with the legacy of Michael Jackson. And she got so much pushback for the, what she's done. She tried to delete everything, tried to back off from that. But we have never forgot, Oprah, that you had tried to hurt the legacy of Michael Jackson with people that was discredited. That's first and foremost. Michael Jackson interviewed with you. He let you into his home. He tried to reach out to you and trust you like the sister. And in the end, you backstabbed Michael Jackson. We haven't seen you go after anyone else. And we'll get to that with 50 Cent is going to talk about. But Oprah Winfrey now is going to be an executive producer once again. She didn't learn her lesson about Michael Jackson when the community came against her. Now she wants to put out something on Russell Simmons because she partnered with Apple TV and this documentary is supposed to premiere at the Sundance Film Festival early 2020. Now it's supposed to be highlighting the woman by the name of Drew Dixon that she alleged that Russell Simmons violated her in a New York City apartment back in 1995. Then they said at least 17 other women came out on Russell Simmons and allege that he violated them as well. But he has stated that anything that he has done has been consensual. He stated that at one point in time in his life, he was a womanizer, but he said he rarely admit that. He said, but he has never taken advantage of any kind of woman. If Russell Simmons was out here doing all that, being a black man in America, he would have been nailed to the wall so quick. We all know this. Black men aren't protected in this country at all. There's only one group of people in this country that's protected, and it's not black men. That's for sure. But Russell Simmons put up a post on Instagram. Let's go ahead and put that up. So as you can see, Russell stated, Dearest Oprah, you have been a shining light to my family and my community, contributing so much to my life that I couldn't list a fraction of it in this blog. I've given you the gift of meditation and a groundbreaking book, The Power of Now. We bonded to say at least, this is why it's so troubling that you chose me to single out, you talking about in her recent documentary. That's what she chose to do. Because going into 2020, and this is something that I'm about to really do a stream on on our main channel, there is no loyalty anywhere, especially within our community as black people. There's no loyalty. We're not loyal to each other. We're not loyal to our families. We don't even know the concept of loyalty at all. Now, 50 Cent weighed in on this because 50 Cent is going to say something we all recognize. Let's go to that next clip. So 50 says, as you can see, I don't understand why Oprah is going after black men. No Harvey Weinstein. You're correct. Weinstein haven't had a single documentary from Oprah put out. No Epstein. Nope. Nothing from Oprah. He said, just Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons. He said, this is just sad. He said, Gail hit R. Kelly with the Death Blow documentary. Every time I hear Michael Jackson, I don't know whether to dance or to think about the little boy's butts. He said, these documentaries are publicly convicting their targets. It makes them guilty to proven innocent. And 50 Cent is right. Especially if you look at the legacy and history of black men in America, we're always guilty to prove it innocent. It don't matter what it is. And see, you have people like Oprah Winfrey that got her uh, bread buttered from the system. She's being a Hollywood plantation mammy sent to destroy black men. Okay. See, they tried to get Russell, but see, they couldn't get Russell because, see, Russell saw they were about to build Kai's for him. So when Russell saw the writing on the wall, Russell said, you know what? Forget y'all. I'm going to Indonesia. I'm good over there. Smart man. Very, very smart man because they will build up a kangaroo court on you, and, it, and they will get you locked up and take all your money away and take everything that you have on false accusations. Next thing that 50 stated was, you think Oprah don't notice? How this ish is playing out. Now he's the show Bill Cosby, jail. He said Epstein. Well, yeah, he, he walked away. All right. He said Kevin Spacey walk, you know, Weinstein walk. Cause that's exactly what he got to do. 
R. Kelly's in jail and Donald Trump walk. So clearly we see a pattern here, but Oprah Winfrey, she isn't one of us guys. We have to accept that. She isn't one of us just on a, a, a basic level with everybody. And she's definitely not one of us in the community. She is sold out. She was with Weinstein. Remember the picture I posted on my Instagram a while back, how Oprah was with Weinstein. So she got loyalty to Weinstein, but she don't have no loyalty to Russell Simmons. That's why I'm saying in this video, Oprah Winfrey and her actions, everything she has done has been nothing but a Hollywood plantation mammy. And it doesn't make sense. You got money. You don't have to beg nobody for position. You don't have to beg nobody for anything. So why are you actually doing this? Cause see, I would even understand if you're doing it for money, but you got money. So it's not that you're doing it for money. I believe you are doing it because you have some vendetta against the brothers and the brothers have a right to call you out. I believe all the brothers need to call Oprah Winfrey out, call her out on the square and the women need to call her out because if you're going to make videos about them with no criminal charges, just with people saying it, anybody can make accusations against you. Where's the, the evidence? Where is it? I mean, it's not right to accuse anybody of something like that. I wouldn't come on my platform and just accuse a man off of just a word of what a woman says. No, I'm not going to do that because I understand at least with my platform, I got to have some sort of responsibility and integrity. At least let me hear his side of the story first, because that's something serious. I just don't take the word of one person. It don't matter if, if a man was accusing a woman of something, I need to hear her side because if I don't, especially something that heavy, you know, you actually making accusations on a person. They didn't have a chance to defend themselves. And I wish these men start suing people like Oprah Winfrey, sue their pants off, sue the lifetime, sue all these people. Because if you're not convicted, if you haven't been charged of any crimes, then you can't be insinuating things like that. Cause that is extremely dangerous, especially in this culture. You see, they, 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 you know, Oprah Winfrey is no different than Tarana Burke. And most of you know who Tarana Burke is. She seemed like she's on a mission. If she was truly on a mission to expose people like that, Weinstein would be a documentary, Kevin Spacey and all these other ones. Ben Roethlisberger, he'll be another one. It's many of them she can cover, but she don't do it because they are not the right color for Oprah Winfrey to go after. And we see Oprah for who she is. And it's time for us to go after Oprah Winfrey very hard because she got a taste of it with the Michael Jackson situation. She definitely need to get a taste of it with this one. But let me know what you think about the situation with Oprah Winfrey trying to put out a documentary on Russell Simmons, a man that she actually knew, a man that she could actually call. And check this out. Russell found out because the people that was working on the documentary had called one of his ex-girlfriends from way back in the 80s. And she called him and said, hey, these people are looking for, to want me to talk to them about you on his documentary that Oprah produced. And that's how he found out. So see, she was trying to do all this dirt behind the scenes. And Russell found her out with his whole situation. But Oprah is a very, very dirty individual, extremely.